So, the information from the former counselors points to an Argonian location. Some place called the Ojel Bok. Vandacia ran off with the documents before we could learn more. Now we need to figure out what it means before his cultists beat us to it. No, but Counselor Leviticus has heard the term. Says it's a landmark in the Solzan territory. The document suggested it's a site connected to the Four Ambitions. Maybe where the weapons are stored? We need to consult with an expert on that region. Governor Keshu of Gideon. Counselor Leviticus says she knows the swamps and bogs of Black Marsh like the back of her hand. So, can I count on you? Will you come with me to Gideon to talk to Keshu the Black Finn? We'll meet up in Gideon. We can talk to Governor Keshu there. She has to know about this Ojel Bok thing. She has to. Just what I've heard. She emerged from the Black Marsh Swamps and made a name for herself as a freedom fighter. Battled Dark Elf slavers along the Morrowin border. When the Okaviri invaders arrived, she took her soldiers and helped save Windhelm. About ten years ago now, defeated the invasion and helped form the Ebonheart Pact. Even commanded the Pact Army during the start of the Three Banners War. Then one day she turned in her commission, came back to serve as Governor of Gideon. Keshu's progressive, as far as Argonians go. I hear she has an interest in the history of the Argonians, but she genuinely seems committed to creating an open and enlightened community for all people in Gideon. Actually, I can't wait to talk to her. Hmm, what did the spinner say? Oh yes, it's one of the eight major cities of Black Marsh, but its proximity to Cyrodiil makes it more imperial than Argonian. In fact, Vandacia represented the Empire in Gideon for decades. Until, well, you know. No, more of an advisor of sorts. Like the counselors here in Leowin. Governor Keshu is the leader of the city. When Vandacia revealed himself to be the head of a Daedric cult, well, that pretty much put an end to his government service. Now that you mention it, very much so. He was a member of the Elder Council. His name was on the list of people that knew Leovic's secret. I thought I was supposed to protect him, keep him safe from the murderer. But he was the murderer. After he killed Falaria and grabbed the coded documents, he ran. He could be anywhere. He's had decades to establish the Waking Flame and set up hiding holes. But he's after the ambition, same as us. We need to find the hidden vault before he does.
Experience the thaumaturgical prowess of a master. Yeah. Yeah. Again? Vondacia, a cultist. Gideon will help in any way we can. Thank you, Governor. Oh, here's my partner now. Counselor Vondacia, a traitor and a Daedric cultist. I can't believe he had us all fooled for so many years. But that's a matter for another time. Everly tells me you have a lead for finding these so-called ambitions. Counselor Leviticus was right to send you to me. In Argonian, Ogel Bach roughly translates as Pit of the Outsider. There is a natural formation to the south that bears the name. Unfortunately, it lies in territory claimed by the... The Sulzan are a savage people, Nagas, who revere the forces of death and chaos. You must traverse their land to reach the Pit of the Outsider. The Nagas recognize no authority other than themselves and their leaders. They do not welcome visitors. South of Stone Wastes, in the heart of Sulzan territory. I suggest caution and stealth. Try to avoid starting a war with the tribe if you can at all help it. Bring whatever you find back here. Gideon will keep it safe, I assure you. Ojel Bak, the Pit of the Outsider. It's a natural formation located south of Stone Wastes. Just proceed carefully, as it lies in the heart of Sulzan territory. After many years of fighting, including my time as the commander of the Pact Forces in the Three Banners War, I decided I had enough. Shortly after I arrived in Gideon, the governorship became available. It is my honor to serve this city. No. Blackwood and the Topol Bay region remain independent entities. We have a trade agreement with Leowin, but otherwise we're on our own. We hope the war stays to the north and west. Moreover, we hope it ends quickly. No, he served the Longhouse Emperors from the day they seized the Ruby Throne, eventually becoming a member of the Elder Council. Since the collapse of the Empire, he has been a trusted advisor both here and in Leowin. This news is a shock. Only what young Evely was telling me before you arrived. I never heard of them before today. I will, however, get my best Blackfin legionnaires to investigate them. Vondacia has lived in Gideon a long time. Someone here must know something. The Sulzan are brutal. 
They sacrifice their enemies to the dark forces they serve, and their thirst for blood knows no bounds. That is why I urge caution. Uh, forgive me if this sounds like bragging. I was raised in a tiny village far to the south, but I was never satisfied with provincial life. I long to learn about the ancient Argonians, to bring... You must have seen the stone structures in the swamp, the Zanmirs. In the ancient past, my people created great wonders, a great civilization. Then, for some reason, they abandoned it for a simpler, less complicated life. My explorations showed me the plight of my people. I fought Dark Elf slavers, raised the Blackfin Legion, battled Akaviri invaders. I helped form the Ebonheart Pact, and fought in the Alliance War. Now I only seek to govern Gideon. Are you talking to me without a proper introduction? to an outsider to bring a curse down upon a sacred shrine. The claw that spills the jub bile must be the one to sop it, dry skin. Heed the words and tend to this matter. Riddles? Really? Not helpful, priest. Not helpful at all. Yeah.
Ready to make our way into hostile territory? We need to find this pit of the outsider, see if the vault is there, and reach the ambitions before the Order of the Waking Flame beats us to them. Hmm. Well, you heard Governor Keshu. This is Sulzon territory. We want to avoid contact with this hostile tribe of Argonians if at all possible, but we need another waking vision. Happened when I got here. I think that strange book is trying to tell me something. I saw these weird cubes with symbols on them. Symbols like the ones in the book I'm carrying. I want to find the vault. With any luck, we're way ahead of Vandasia and his cultists. Maybe we can get in, grab the weapons, and get back to Gideon before anyone even notices that we're around. Are you ready? Remember to avoid the Sulzan, but keep an eye out for the Waking Flame cultists. I wouldn't be surprised if we run into them before too long. Now, let's go find the Pit of the Outsider. They've got to be somewhere. Besides, we don't know exactly what Vandasia learned when he killed the counselors, or what he got out of the documents he stole from Leowin. We have to assume he's on the same trail as we are. Just what you'd expect, I imagine. They are bloodthirsty savages who revere death and chaos, after all. Be ready to fight. That's all I'm saying. It's possible, I guess, but we haven't seen any evidence of that up to this point. Look, we won't find out any more if we just stand here and talk about it. Let's get... Remember to avoid this.
shouldn't be there. Ah, little mortals. Come speak to me. Little mortals have no fear. I have no particular desire to inflict harm upon you. Quite the contrary. I suspect we may be able to aid one another in the events that are about to unfold. Since my last encounter with the cute Wood Elf, I have been watching the activities of the Order of the Waking Flame. I followed a couple of their scouts and discovered this charming Daedric Vault. I believe the ambitions are locked inside. The Vault is warded, little mortal. Wards that repel Daedra, including me. You and the Elf, however, should have no trouble. Just remove the wards and we can both satisfy our curiosity. Oh, and tell the Elf I think I know what tome she carries. Didn't she tell you? We met before, after she first became aware of Leovic's secret. I believe the book she found is the Mysterium Zarxis, penned by Mehrunes Dagon himself. Or so they say. She must place it on the lectern to disable the wards. Ah, yes, the scouts. One has been dealt with. The other may have slipped away while I was admiring the vault's construction. So I suggest you pick up the pace. The scout could return with reinforcements at any moment. Remember, while the wards are in place, none of us can enter the vault. Use the book the wood elf carries to disable them and open the way. Once the wards are down, I shall meet you inside. Now hurry! The waking flame could arrive at any moment. You cannot see it. The exquisite workmanship. The otherworldly crafting. This vault was not forged by mortal hands. In fact, I believe it was con curiosity, little mortal. How else am I to fill the endless days of immortality? I collect secrets, and I long to learn the truth of the Longhouse Emperors and their mystic... Need is such a specific word. I do not need anything, little mortal. I am quite content to find a new distraction and leave your pitiful world to the Prince of Destruction. However, if you do decide to open the vault, I shall aid you as I can. The wards not only serve as powerful locks, they are designed to specifically keep daedric entities such as myself from passing through them. While merely an annoyance for a mortal, to me, the wards are deadly. Enough. The Daedric Vault. Dagonists and Dramora familiar with such things say it was scribed in the deserts of the Deadlands. I did some research after I sensed the Wood Elf had it. An artifact of great and evil power it is said that merely handling it could be dangerous. That I do not know. Artifacts related to Daedric Princes often possess a corrupting influence. At the least, she will probably feel a sense of discomfort if she hasn't experienced it already. She should guard it well, but tread. All right. I'm placing the book as Lirinth suggested. You check out those cubes.
Well done, little mortal. Now I must explore. We open the door and Lyranth just rushes ahead without us? Figures. Well, I guess we should start looking around too. Everything we learned so far indicates that the Daedric weapon should be in here somewhere. It all comes back to Emperor Leovic's secret. How he hid the four ambitions before Varen reached Imperial City and killed him. We don't know exactly what these four ambitions are, but the documents indicated they're Daedric weapons of some sort. Yup, and Liren thinks they could arrive here at any moment. Let's look around. Oh hey, one more thing. The book sort of started to tingle the moment we entered the vault. Just thought you should know. The Mysterium what now? Never mind. I can worry about that later. Right now we have a job to do. I want to find out what's so important that Leovic had to stick it in a warded and sealed Daedric vault. I suppose the book started this whole quest. I found it in the Longhouse Emperor's old retreat. It's full of Daedric symbols and strange markings. Carrying it around, it feels like a burden. It feels like... Anticipation? Like the book wants to be here or something. Look, I've had some dark dreams since I found the book and those waking visions. But this is the first time... I don't know. Like it won't... Like I didn't have nightmares before I knew that. It's not talking to me. Not with words. But I can feel it. Like it's waking up. And while I've had similar sensations... to the vault.
another warded door ahead of us. There's another ward on the door ahead. Ready to see if we can open it? Only one way to find out. I'll place the book on the lectern. Then we'll see what happens. Then here we go. The book is really tingling. Get ready to turn the cubes after the book. It's almost as though it wants to help us open the door. Never mind. We need to lower that drawbridge. be a lever or a switch around here someplace. Keep moving. We still need to find... Let's keep moving. Oblivion stuff is weird.
sort of pretty. Disturbing and terrifying, but pretty. I was wondering where you had gotten to. I need you once again. Little mortal, I can proceed no farther. Another ward bars my way. Deal with it, will you? Yes, this interior is littered with the damn nuisances. Disrupt it so that we can continue our search. I do not believe we have much time before the Daganists arrive. Very perceptive. The construction is imbued with a magic that allows the vault to behave as if it were a small pocket of oblivion. In a way, I suppose it is. Those exterior portions you pass through, that's where the Deadlands and... It's all part of Mehrunes Dagon's master plan. He believes Nurin belongs to him, and he has long sought a way to combine his oblivion realm with the mortal world. Hmm... Perhaps the ambitions are another step in that direction. Another ward. Damn! I'll place the book. You turn the cubes. Dramatic, Destron. More panache. Kalia, just make sure it actually looks like me this time. Oh, brother. I always capture the real you. People? Where are the Daedric weapons? Who are these intruders? I sense the cultists. They're close. Wood Elf, check the other side of those doors. Careful, brother. They look dangerous. Dangerous? 
We're heroes! All right, Lirinth. I'll scout ahead. You talk to them, partner. I knew I felt something strange, like glass shattering in the distance. Who are you, and why have you disrupted the wards? The Four Ambitions? A curious phrase. Pray tell, what are these Four Ambitions you seek? Weapons? We have no weapons here, at least none that I'm aware of. Feel free to look around if you like. Perhaps you'll find what you're looking for. Perhaps not. Explain yourself. Who are you, and why have you invaded our sanctum? Four ambitions? As in an earnest desire or something to aspire to? How can an idea such as that also be a thing? Weapons. There are no weapons here. Just my sister, Kalia, myself, and our caretakers. Teachers used to visit in the past, and the Emperor. But we haven't seen another living soul in many years. Look around if you must, but then leave us in peace. Destron says my talent has improved. Those are my personal thoughts. We live to serve. Revering Mayroon's Dagon, I believe. Hey! We've got trouble! I need you! See to Evelyn. I shall get Kalia and Destron to safety. From the tremor in the Wood Elf's voice, I suspect the Waking Flame cultists have arrived. Go, help your friend. I shall see to the safety of the twins. Dacia's cultists have arrived. We need a plan. Portals opened all around me, and suddenly there were cultists everywhere. Well, we did take down all the wards that protected this place. I put arrows in as many of Vandacia's crazies as I could, but the rest of them scattered. Deeper into the vault, Damn, this place is enormous. I assume you didn't happen to find the Daedric weapons back in that other room?
back. I'm warning you. Nonsense, child. You are an ambition. The High Priest has great plans for you. So, what should we do? Exactly what we were trained to do. Um, I think we may have found those weapons. They wanted to take us away. Me and my sister, I... I, I couldn't let them do that. You think so? When they charged in here and demanded we go with them, I just had a bad feeling. I... I really didn't mean to obliterate them like that. I'll have to take your word for it. With our sanctum breached and our caretakers dead, we can't stay here. We'll go with you, if that's all right. Those people! They wanted to take us away! Yes, but I never saw him unleash that much raw power in a single burst, or against living targets. Obviously, our training has served us well. Destron has always been more powerful, but if you're asking if I can defend myself, I won't let anyone take us from here without our permission. And so the secret finally becomes clear. The ambitions aren't just weapons. They are mortals of a sort. Obviously, these two have been imbued with immense power. Power that has a distinct Daedric tinge to it. I have learned enough. For now. The mystery intrigued me. I wanted to know what the ambitions were and why the Daenist wanted them. Now I know. Or, at least, now I have some idea. Vandacia is a mortal problem, best dealt with by mortals. In the meantime, I wish to look into how these ambitions gain their power. I have my own avenues to explore. But do not fear. I am sure we shall meet again. Destron and Kalia, the twins. They're the ambitions. Well, at least they're two of them. I have to say, I did not expect the weapons to be people. Whatever. Vandacia and his cult still want to get their hands on them. Obviously, we have to protect them. Get them somewhere safe. Especially since we're the ones who unlocked their vault and gave the cultists a way to get inside. Hmm, good question. Leowen is still reeling from the cult's last assault, but Governor Keshu offered to help. I say we take the twins to Gideon. After that, we can figure out how to locate and secure the other two ambitions, whoever they are. Come with me, you two. It's not safe here anymore. You want us to go... Outside? Time to say goodbye to this place, Kalia. It will be a new adventure. Gideon? That's a city, isn't it? I suppose we could go with you in the Wood Elf. I always wanted to see a city. If you think we'll be safe in this Gideon place, then we'll go with you. I sense nothing but good intentions from the Wood Elf. Well, and a little fear, too, but that's per-
These two will be safe here in Gideon, Everly. You have my word. Thank you, Governor. Are you following me? Do I need to scream? You did well to bring these twins to Gideon. I will make sure that they are well protected. Is it true, though, what Everly told me? These are the ambitions you sought? Yes, Everly was telling me about that. Daedric weapons in the guise of Imperial hatchlings. Interesting. Feed them. Provide them with a place to rest. We'll keep them safe. But what about you? Do you have any ideas on how to find the remaining ambitions? Or what to do about Vondasia and his cult? I suggest you discuss your options with Evely. For someone so recently out of her egg, she has remarkable instincts and a good heart. Anything I can offer would be a guess. You and Evely are much more familiar with the situation than I am. For my part, I will gather the Blackfin Legion and make sure the twins are comfortable and safe. On that, you have my word. As I told Evely, a courier arrived shortly ahead of you. After you and your partner finalize your plans, make sure to talk to them. They were quite in. <laughs> Evely led us through the wilderness and into this city. Everything seemed so strange and different. I didn't see any molten rivers, and the sky is an unusual shade of blue. Other than when we were moved from one sanctum to another, yes, I remember the caretakers telling us it was for our own good that the sanctum protected us. I'm kind of nervous to be away from it. Our sanctum was spacious, but the world outside, it's huge. I think, I think this is going to take some time to get used to. We have to be, don't we? We've put our trust in your hands, and we have to assume that you will keep us safe. The Argonian seems intent on protecting us. If all else fails, Kalia and I aren't defenseless. We shall be fine until you return. Well, we found two of the ambitions and kept them out of the cult's hands. Now we just have to find the other two and deal with Vandasia. Not yet, but I'm sure something will occur to us. It usually always does. In the meantime, take this. Your share of our compensation from Leowin. I couldn't have found the twins and saved them without your help. Thanks. While Governor Keshu takes care of Destron and Kalia, we need to determine our next move. All right, we still have a lot of work to do. Are you 
talking to me without a proper introduction? 